Welcome back to Motorsport Manager, everybody. Seventh year, top flight of the Endurance Series, third race, and we've got some work to do. Now, before that, a quick programming note. This is going to be the last Motorsport Manager video for a little while. We'll definitely be coming back to this. We're going to finish up all of the series. Nothing's changed as far as that goes. It's just timing. Um, there's an announcement video in the description below that you can take a look at, but the reason is the impending launch of Air War 2 version 1.0 is coming up. As a matter of fact, and by the time you see this, that's actually tomorrow. So I will be working on that as soon as that hits the virtual shelves, as it were. At some point, I will be phasing back into a more normalish schedule and getting back into this and the other series. Now, I can't say exactly for sure when that's going to happen. It all really depends on how that goes. But I definitely will be getting back to it as soon as it is practical. Uh, clearly, I've got a couple things to work on. One is that Muck's going to retire. And if he does, then I've got to replace him. The other is I need to obviously not cut the fuel as short as I did in the last race and be more careful on my pit stops. And if I do that, I think we can reestablish ourselves. I mean, we're only two points behind. I'd like to be ahead after the first couple of races. We're only two points behind. We should be quite a ways ahead. So I don't think there's any reason to be super concerned long term. It's just that uh, there's going to be more drama than there should be. So we definitely need to stay focused and can't afford to make a whole bunch of mistakes the rest of the way. 31 hours? Sure. And are you going to apologize for running out of fuel? Absolutely. Says I do owe them an apology, and they seem to be happy with that. We had two mistakes. That didn't help us either. Yes, Winklehawk won. We should have won ourselves, though. And how much further do we have? Eight days on our current nose design, which I believe is the last one we're going to do for the moment. Pit crew couple good rear jack people. We're still struggling on the tires. Yeah, there's nobody here that's exciting at all on the tires. Yeah, we can get rid of you for sure. And, I mean, you're low enough in stamina that you can go. I'm not going to have any use for you or you. So, we'll hang on to these two just in case. But, yeah, that does not look real good. So we need to swap out some people, particularly because of mistakes. Look, 38. Wow. Okay, so you're on tires and fixing, but we're mostly concerned about your tires' ability. Let's see, probably swap out here. Szymanski, we'll swap you out for Fortuna. Crispin, we've got to get you out of there. Bessier. Okay, everybody else there has enough stamina to go. Yeah, front jack, rear jack. Yeah, you've got a little bit more stamina, so let's go ahead and throw you out there. All right, so yeah, I mean, we're not that good on tire people, and then we've got a bunch of people here are going to take a while to recover. So now we really are going to need some tire performers. Gombald burnt out, and I think I'm going to just hang on for the rest of the year and see if he ever recovers. Yikes. Yeah, and there's retiring. Does Van Hoor have a future in the music business? Marketability plus 10. Okay. I've always loved music. The sound, the noises, the bleeps, even the bloops. Racing is still cool, but I'd like to release an album one day, that's for sure. Okay, so driver-wise, yes, we've got a replacement driver. That won't do. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to get somebody new. The best that we can find at a reasonable price, obviously. You know, I rather like this guy, Lucas Ludwig. Now, let's go back a little bit. Racing stock cars, that's a temporary one. Marketability helps. I mean, the first lap of the race, but we can just have him not start in the first lap. The fitness is strong. You can see that's a pretty good spot for that. 97 stamina. Sim racing champion, so he's got plus two overtaking. Plus two smoothness. He's really marketable. 
I don't see anything bad about him, and then he's not he doesn't want that much money. So we should be able to get him for that or maybe a little over four hundred K. I don't see a drawback here. So we're going for Ludwig. I mean, we could look around more. I'm just, I'm pretty happy with him. And look at our gearbox way down. Um, but once we get the nose bat out, we'll be fine. Gearbox and nose are the crucial parts. And I think we're going to want to switch over to working on the gearbox next. After this next part, which means we're we'll probably want to use this one. So let's throw that out there. And yank everything else out. Um, and we should have time to just pour it all into this and then see where that next nose is when it comes off the line. So I'm going to work on that. Yeah, let's just wait till this nose comes up. We're going to have a politics vote. We're going to have a contract. Whether we'll go to China... And our team seems to be really excited about it, but I, again, I don't care. Although, if we don't uh, win, then we're going to be back in this same series. And they say it's a good track for us. So we might as well vote for it just for fun. Okay, so there's our nose. And then we want to switch to gearbox, at least for the moment. And yuck to both of those, so we're going to take this. Boy, these are both terrible. Oh my goodness, the, ugh, the gearbox is horrible. Okay. Well, what about the spoiler? Yeah, the spoiler parts are better, so I think I'm switching up to that just because the gearbox stuff is horrible. So yeah, at least these two will be solid here, and then we'll eventually want to go back and get a second top-notch nose part. And actually... Since the gearbox stuff is so bad, maybe I just want to do that now. I think I'm just going to do that because we know these are going to be top quality. And yeah, we're spending a bunch of time on it. That's okay. Well, no, it's not. Let's go ahead and yeah, give it that extra 10. But we're spending a... Well, do I want to go with that or... I mean, that would be even better. It's only four days. Yeah, we'll do that. But anyway, I'm spending a ton of money and time on this, but with the gearbox being as miserable as they are, I think we're going to have the time. Because we're, there's nothing we're going to get out of that that's going to be that worthwhile. That also makes me worry about later on in the year. But put the second one of each of these out here. Yep, six days after race, and we'll want to pull this one out at some point to equalize. I'm hoping we can get both of these, and we should, I think, get both of these close enough to use. Matter of fact, why don't I pull this one out for now, wait till they're even, then put it back in. There's no good reason not to do that, I don't think. And onward we go. Starting to actually get improvements, and it's time for the vote. And how much do we have? We've got a whole bunch. We'll just spend two and vote for it. Probably pretty good chance of that passing with us on board. Yep, it's going to go through. Only one vote against. Three to one in favor. We literally are the margin of victory. And Beijing will be approved. And so there'll be ten races in at least the top flight next year. I'm not sure how that works. Both classes of the Endurance Series race on the same tracks. Does that mean that class A gets to choose and class B is just stuck with whatever they pick? I'm not sure how that works. Of course, it really doesn't matter as far as we're concerned. And they say, let's do it. All right, we're going to sign Lucas Ludwig and get rid of her. So I am sad to lose Muck but now we have a full team of drivers once again. Um, his feedback is not anything special, so he'll go over here on this team with Mueller. Going to keep things fairly even. And look, he's a full full four-star driver, so he's at least as good as Muck was. But it's still a frustration. It's an important step in his career, he says. All right. So now we're just focusing on boosting this. 52%. 
Oh, goodness, we have a birthday. We'll throw the party, as usual. Come on, give me that little bit of boost there. 59%, okay. We're gonna be into the 80s, I think, here on both of these, and that's good enough. Being into the 80s is good enough to use them. They're probably gonna run low towards the end of the race, but I will take it. Front wings, Jackie Chan of the top teams right now. Well, let's see. We'll wait till we get our new stuff out there. We have one of the best when it gets the tires up to heat. Having warm tires at just the right moment makes a huge difference in qualifying or anytime we put on some fresh tires. Keep that in the next year's car. Well, that hopefully will be up to somebody else. Toyota expected to do well. Jackie Chan's Marcus Winklehawk odds on to follow up the race with a win and Toyota favored by Tommy Klein. Not a lot of people. Van Hoor's house went up in a fire. Feels like I've lost a part of myself. Electrical fault with high-tech music system. Ugh. So he gets minus one to everything for eight weeks. That's more bad news for us. Okay, so let's get our parts out there and see what that changes. See if that moves us up the nose rankings at all. 85%. Those are fine. And that puts us up to 9th and 11th from 10th and 11th the last couple races. It does move us up to the top nose. And 5th overall. And those are both boosts, but I think we're really struggling there in the gearbox. We're going to struggle on the gearbox. But if we can have the nose and the, this one in place, plus the spec parts, should still be okay. All right, so 32 degrees. It's going to be nice and warm. I think we're talking about mediums or hards here, and I'm thinking probably mediums, particularly with our excellent tire heating. So that's sort of the direction that I'm going to go in first. We'll split seven soft and seven medium, and then if that is not working out for us, we can also always come back and adjust it to hard. Okay, let's see. And yeah, I think Goddard's sort of the odd man out here now. This team is going to be about Mueller and Ludwig. 0 0.4 each is very nice. And then Kazthelyi and Van Tour, I think, even with Negrau looking good. take a look at our options here 65 laps 36 so this is going to be the right choice if the track is say a little over a minute it would have to be a lot longer or a lot shorter to want to go somewhere else I think I think we're gonna be hitting the sort of the nail on the head there. We'll definitely be going with Mueller as our driver. Yep, and even him, 62 to 64. So... Negrau also wants bit on the low side. I think we'll go with the same 4.5. He likes a little bit more oversteer. 
And then again, the acceleration. Let's get out here and see. Yep, that's the right thing, the race trim. And for you as well. So not even wasting any time at the start. It's looking pretty good. Let's take a look at what our temp does and how fast these laps go by. That's what I'm most interested in seeing here early on as we wind through the first part, of course, and then boost our way along this. It is so nice not to have to worry about boosting anymore. I'm feeling that we're at about the right distance. The temperature is going up even at 29 degrees. So what we'll be looking at is dropping to conserve a fair amount. We'll probably have to do some finagling with the tire, you know, tire temperatures as things go by. You don't like the downforce, but you're not telling me which way to go with it. Yeah, 137. That's right in the range, I feel, where mediums are, in fact, going to be the best option. We should be able to have some left in them. Should be the right amount. And hards are just, just going to be a little bit slower, and I don't think we're going to get enough benefit from the temperature. You can see, again, they're going up, but it's not going up at a skyrocketing pace here. So I really like that whole scenario. Let's go ahead and come in. So I'm definitely going to stick with the tires. And then we just got to get through the changes that we need to make. Okay, yes. I think everybody's saying they want more downforce. But we like where we are in general otherwise. So... I think we'll just up it to like 6.5. That might not even be enough. Let's go up to 6.7, call it. And then see what we think. That's probably pretty good. That's a reasonable attempt there. And the growl looking pretty much identical. 72% instead of 75. So let's make identical changes. If we're wrong, we'll be wrong twice. And by, yeah, you can see this again. That's it's probably right there. Likes the downforce. Both of them do. Okay, so high was indeed the way to go. Also liking the speed balance better. Okay, I think we're a little late. Let's bring you up. We are. Would have liked to bring one of them in there. That's all right, though. We'll switch over to getting the qualifying trim. We got plenty of time. It's dry. That's not going to cost us at all. Eighty-nine percent. So we do still, for sure, have some work to do, and also time to do it in. 
So very poor to good. And I don't know which way that needs to go. We definitely need more understeer though. And then I'm not sure which way to go on the acceleration. So let's just play with going up to 70. Well, now it said good, so we need to go higher than that. 73. And then if if that's not right, we'll come back the other direction. Understeer there. Yep. Let's give that a whirl. Long pit stop. I'm sure Negrau will have one as well, but he's right on some of the stuff here. Yeah, 92%. That's a little bit better. We're again going to copy the downforce up to 7.3 and let's assume we're going understeer and we won't worry about that whoops qualifying tires soft so both drivers are gonna hang out in the pit for a while and then we'll get out there and knock this in Negrau out just barely first. He's also driving better, but Muller is solid today. Both drivers liking those changes, so they really wanted to go high on the downforce. Faster than we were before in general, but not fast enough. Yep, seventh, but Mueller taking the top time, so that's encouraging. And he's looking even faster this time, but they broke his time from the previous lap. He's back on top again. 136 and a bit of change. Fastest for first and third sectors, and we're going to go in again. Whoops. Ha ha ha. Well, Mueller is all set. It's one of the reasons why he did so well. 99%. We're just going to go out on qualifying again. Negrau can take all the time that he needs. Only at 97%. Now, this one we already nailed, correct? Yes. So we just need to nail the downforce. Good. Great, let's go a bit higher. And then just see how that turns out. Of course, it's going to be all start and stops here for Negrau until we nail this. At which point, there will be nothing else to do. Almost. And really, we're there. We just need to knock that into place with the speed. Okay, we've got to get the speed down while not messing this up. Or the speed up, rather. And that's, that's really close. Ha, ha, ha. 
I think that right there might do it. We will find out. I didn't bring him in. <laughs> okay. So the team principal falling asleep there a bit. But again, no, no cost to that decision. Bingo. Let's just see what the exact number is. 99. Dual 99 percents. We're going to ride this all the way in. Qualifying could not be more set up. No, you're good. And we're going to drop to 4th and ninth, But we don't care. And now it's time to see what our real pace is. Wow, we have a bunch of people who do not like one of our rivals from last year, that's for sure. Other than that, nothing to really see. Weather still looking to be quality. And indeed it is. Okay. So who do we want to take? Do we take the new guy who's not driving as well, or do we take Goddard who's driving better? I'm going to stick with Form here. Don't put Ludwig under that much pressure his first time out. And there's no question with the struggles Van Hoor is having that Car 2... Definitely has universally weaker drivers. That could hurt us. But I don't think it hurts us enough to really make a difference. It definitely makes a difference. We've seen that. I just mean like... I don't think it hurts us enough that it's going to be a big problem. I think with the improvements in our car, we'll be able to outperform that. And having the one car really strong... It might be better to equalize them, but having one car really strong can help to just make sure that we can chase down any cars that are doing really well in a particular race. So, in any case, we'll start with Muller and Van Hoor out there. And see if we can get those... Right now, I'm concerned enough about the points... E gads. Uh, Muller, that I would like to really just get that pole position. Van Hoor not looking spectacular either. I don't want to do anything too crazy trying to finagle the temperatures perfectly. Let's just make sure we get good solid laps in. Yeah, it's taking a while to get the tires up to temperature as it is. He's barely going to get there. Is going to get there, but... Getting there a lot easier is Van Hoor, for whatever reason. Uh, 
Okie dokie. So our first lap is off and running. One thirty five and change. They did beat us, so they beat us twice. Okay, so that that was not too in boy, that was not too inspiring at all. That was bad. Downright bad. At ninety nine percent. Pretty good drivers. Are we really that troublesome? We're gonna have to see how the others go. No 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 no. Do we need to switch tires? Yeah, ninth and eleventh on the first round is not not the performance we're looking for. Let's uh, hope we can improve this. Slow this down and make sure we get it right. And Goddard overheating a bit here. Let's get this back under control. There we are. Whoa, we gotta drop this fast. Fast, 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 fast. Get that temperature down. Come on. There we go. Okay, so let's see if we are able to do any better here. Because if not, we're going to be in trouble. Yeah, we're, we're just slow. We are just slow. Except that, uh, oh, yeah, okay. It's pretty happy with it, but the others have not, have not finished, and then we're going down again. Yep. Okay, so we're 10th and 11th. So, yeah, so much for getting that, uh, pole. Let's get Mueller back out there again. And I don't think we're going to have time for a fourth shot at it. We're going to try. Uh, switch to Van Hoor. Give those who went out first another sh shot to improve their timing. Well, this is not looking good. And particularly given how strong our nose is, which is supposed to be the best part, or most critical part on this this track, I'm not I'm not liking this at all. If you look at our gaps again, it's pretty competitive. I mean, we're less than a second behind. Obviously, with the hybrid advantage and similar things, we may very well be able to accomplish some decent things in the right... Yeah, see, there, there there's a nice time there, but uh, still the overall... Okay. Still, you're ahead of the pace now. What changed? I suppose I don't really care. Yeah, so that... 
that moved him up, but did not get much better here. Still, if we get one at the sponsor objective, that helps. Of course, qualifying itself doesn't mean a lot. It's what it means in terms of our pace that matters. I may be able to get another set here. So yeah, we may have to take advantage of every single thing that we can do during this race to do anything decent. And this is going to be close. We may even get a second try at this. Miller slips to 8th, and you see is only very narrowly now there. So if there's any improvement that we can get here, this is going to be crucial. But I think we're going to have enough time. Maybe not Van Hoor, but I think he's going to make it as well. Yeah, with those, with those lap times, we should be able to do this. Okay. Still more concerned about the race than I am the qualifying here, but. Still would be nice to do well. Let's go ahead and drop you down because you're overheating like a champion. There we go. Go up, up, up. Got it back up to good. Okay. And I really don't have any time to wait for a better gap, so I don't feel too bad about that. Let's just see how this runs out. Not expecting much from Van Hoor, but Goddard is the one that really matters. And the second one is the one that's been hurting most of our drivers, and there it is again. We need to finish better than they do. Okay, not super happy with it, but it did move us up to sixth, which is going to be enough. We are going to stay in the sponsor group. Van Hoor slightly improving, but not good enough. Okay, so that's very, very humbling qualifying, no matter how you slice it. And, yeah, it may take some serious strategic acumen here to get things done in the race things all of a sudden looking a lot less positive here surprising absolutely nobody goddard is disappointed by qualifying and he didn't even get to participate so yeah let's see what we can squeeze out during the race here Medium tires and race trim, of course. And we're going to assume a minute 40 per lap. It looks like it's going to be dry. We're definitely going to be changing to medium tires. And let's see. We'll start out there with... I think Ludwig is the guy because I only want to go with one stint here. Car setup, we want to leave the same. Fuel. Okay, so at a minute 40 per lap. Should need about 43 and change laps of fuel. So with the hybrid, actually more like 30. So we'll drop it down to 35 to start. And of course we can do the same thing for both sides. It definitely looks like Kazthelyi is the one to start off over here feels like an old hand at this point you can see like an hour and a half so the tires will last 
Again, 35 laps. And we'll just stick with that. Okay. And we're not going to be anywhere near the top. Four, three, and six. Yuck. Nine, five, and ten. Well, our second car has the lesser drivers but higher form. That probably just basically equalizes some things. The way we go in Tondela, where we are going to need some help, I think. Ludwig up to 5th. Castelli hanging in 11th, now up to 10th. We may be running lighter on fuel than the others for once. Or maybe we're just getting lucky at the moment because they normally pass us with their aggressiveness early on. Ludwig at 4 and Castelli driving very well and also fired up. So he drops to 6th, she's up to 10th. Respectable start. Most of the cars going on softs, and some going on hearts. And I think, again, I think most of the field then making a mistake. Because they're not going to get a full stint. Castelli drops to 11th. So it looks like respectable, but not spectacular at all, is our verdict here. And we're just going to speed things along. Kestelyi causes a collision and gets to go in for a drive through penalty right at the beginning of the freaking race. Ludwig up to fifth, but that, again, that, that's the kind of thing we just don't need. Not when we're trying to fight for position here. Surprisingly, because Thelia actually not losing that much time from that little scenario. He's up to 11th and then drops out. Of the fired up zone. Okay, let's slow this down and go conserve for a while. I'm going to want to keep the tire temperature fairly high. But we'll see how far it goes down with conserve as, yeah, we're at 32 degrees. And it doesn't look like, it is going down. It's just not going down that fast. Ludwig down to 6th, back up to 5th. Battling right there in that general position. Now going through traffic. And Castelli still in 11th. Other cars using their power boost, another thing to our advantage. So hopefully we can add up all of these little bits of positiveness that they're allowing us to take and turn it into a strong finish. Because if we stuck where we were right now, yeah, we'd finish uh, fourth overall and get buried by Jackie Chan and Toyota. So that's obviously not an acceptable finish. And hopefully we'll do a lot better. And you can see, yeah, like about 10 minutes on conserve didn't even drop it halfway there. So... Meanwhile, fuel-wise, we have not used half of our fuel yet. Yeah, I think if anything, we're going to have too much. Castelli not driving as well, but still doing pretty good. Both of us are fading compared to the other drivers, but again, they're going to have to get that extra pit stop, so... I still think we win that battle.
Montero is in seventh and gets a drive through penalty. That helps because Felly reached 10th position, which I believe is enough to get us into the points. So that gives us one more. Of course, we're going to need a lot more than that, but it's still fairly early. I think I want to go neutral here. Boost that back up. And Ludwig 10 seconds behind the next car. So he's going nowhere in a hurry. Has Feli up to eighth. Fourth and eighth now. But a few cars have come in for their first pit. We have not. And let's see. Yeah, we've still got a little bit of time till we come in. Might want to move into the red zone a little bit on the tire temperatures at the end, but definitely not yet. Less than 10 laps of fuel. So we didn't overclock it by much. Of course, you have to remember that you're going to use more fuel on the first set because you're boosting up. And for the moment, Ludwig takes the lead. Has Felly sixth. All right, slow this down a bit. Go neutral. Going through traffic. Twenty-second lead, and the button here is next. Got a few more laps to go. Of course, at the moment, we're looking great with the lead in the race, but it's with having not pit yet, we don't want to get too excited in that scenario. Have because Felly pit first, but not yet. We'll wait a couple laps. I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit into the red here before I back off. Just make sure I'm getting as much speed out of the tires as I can. Yeah, and he's just now getting into his... fired up zone so actually he has the problem of having it too low go harvest and we're on conserve down to about five laps so I think we can afford to drop 
I'll drop three laps instead of the full five just to be safe. But because Thelia, you're gonna pit now. And yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and go into Grau. He's not going to have much time in there, so we don't need to adjust for that. So we're going to drop down to 32. We're continuing to go safe. Next time around will be Ludwig's time in. Not going to get a whole lot of time in fired up, but that's just sort of the way it crumbles. I think we may want, well, you know, given that it might be better to leave him out, leave him out there for a long stint than give him a short one the next time. Pull him when he gets out of the fired up zone. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. He should have enough tire. So just go ahead and stay out there. Negrau at 7.8. 44 seconds. About 5 seconds faster than was predicted. He is fired up for the moment. And then drops out. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Go conserve. And Ludwig still has quite a while. Oh, crud. Didn't even, <laughs> didn't even think about that. Um, one lap. He can make it one more lap further, but that's it. Okay, now he'll come in. And of these two, it looks like Goddard is the stronger at the moment. Go up to 32. Currently 10th. And now we'll kind of see a bit of where we are. No mistakes, 46 seconds. Coming out neutral in 4th. Okay, so we're 4th and 10th. And, well, actually third, because they're going to have to pit for the first time. Alright, so. Yeah, that hasn't helped us much. Toyota running away with it. Down to fifth now. We're, we're definitely still in trouble. Other cars going on to mediums and hards now. So they're a little bit more competitive with that. And yeah, let's go conserve here. We'll switch back and forth and let's speed away. The other thing this will do is we'll be a little bit offset on our pits for a little while. About 10 minute difference between the two cars.
Goddard is up to fourth as they come in. So now it's, you know, first lap for everybody, or first second stint for everybody. Fourth and tenth. It gives us 13, but we're still well behind Jackie Chan and Toyota, both for the race and the overall. They're going on hybrid quite a bit up there themselves. Weather staying at 32, no rain, gradually getting faster. I'm not sure, other than that extra pit stop that we're going to have over at least some of them, I'm not sure what we do here to make up ground. There's always good old hope for luck, but you know, that that does not always come through. It generally has in the endurance, but it's not a good thing to bank on. Goddard is driving very well right now, has made up some ground, whoops. Grau driving solid, or better. Looks like Paffett sort of running away with this. Do currently have somewhat fresher tires than the ones ahead. We're not that far behind Rosengvist, but he's now out of the fired up zone, so that's going to hurt. No, there most certainly is not. Twenty seconds off the pace. It's not a huge gap if we get a break of some kind. And the growl has moved up for the moment at least to ninth. Let's go ahead and go neutral for a while. From the growl about 15 minutes to a pit stop. And there goes some more. And our leaders go to the pits. So we move up a spot for the moment. Pretty much just maxed out there, which I do not want to do. And now just nine seconds off the lead. And I think we're at a good time to go back to conserve. Okay, just a few minutes now on the growl. Question is, do I want to try to push him long at all? Probably do. If I can get an extra couple laps out of him, I will. 
Goddard up to second. Four seconds now. Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to do it too with this amount of fuel. It looks like we can back off a few more laps. So I'm going to go down to 28 laps next time. Goddard now with a lead of almost 40 seconds. But of course he'll have to come in, or will have to come in as well. We'll see. See how it works once we come in for our next couple of stops. They were pretty much equalized. Go up to neutral and the growl up to seventh. Temporarily again. Probably a couple more laps. 9.2. So Goddard having an excellent stint. You can see him still pulling away. And maybe if we can keep reducing the amount of fuel gradually, carefully, not screwing it up. But you can see, yeah, I, don't, I, th I think 28 is, that's really a conservative reduction. Because I think a set of four, I could probably get away with six or seven. But again, I don't want to, I don't want to overcook it. Goddard coming around here to the finish, and I'm going to send him around one more time, which means I need Grau to come in now. And even so, Goddard's going to have to do an extra lap. Okay. And when they have the extra fuel, that's probably a good idea. All right. So we're going to switch to Vant Hoor, the only driver who has not gone out yet. I'll take it just short at 27.8. And let's go ahead and burn the hybrid until they come in. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I want to use the fuel instead. Now Goddard will come in for Mueller. Twenty-eight laps, forty-six second stop, they say. And Van Hoor is out at the bottom of his fired up zone. Goddard will get out of the car. So our third drivers jumping out into the action. And just barely, at least for the moment, yeah, battling for first and second. Okay, go hybrid, both of you. 
So we're in a battle for the lead, could potentially win there, but car number two has got work to do. That's essentially where we are. And that leaves us just barely beating Jackie Chan, not nearly as good as Toyota. Basically, we need to win for sure. Look at that. Bursting ahead to the lead, but I don't think that lasts. Go ahead and drop to conserve for now. Boom, boom, boom. Roughly equalized. Yeah, they're a little bit down on the tires here. I may want to switch some drivers up next race. I think I may want to equalize the cars. But first things first, down to third. But they haven't they haven't pit. For their second time. So that's that's not a long term problem. We are going conserve here for a while. So some unfriendly things will happen. Down to 10th, and we're just, we're struggling on that second car for sure. I'm still not sure it's not best to have the one strong vehicle, but. The temperature's going to be more up and down now. It should give us a little more speed as we're able to be a little bit more aggressive on the tires. And coming up to the halfway point in the race, it's uncertain. It's looking like a bit of a struggle. We're not going to have a disaster, but we could very well end up losing more ground that we cannot afford to lose. Okay, now we're in first. So that's very nice. If we stay there and don't get any more points, we lose the race to Toyota, but we barely take back the lead. It's a real three-way, yeah. So anything we can get here would really be nice. And based on the results here, I'm really going to have to reevaluate my drivers. That's pretty obvious. Just a couple, just not having that, ugh, yuck, that went down too far. But not having the ability... To have the fired up zone, plus not being quite as good of a driver. It's clearly making a very large difference. And if they could just get up a little bit higher, we probably have a little bit of speed to spare with this first team. So I do think I need to switch somebody out. Not sure who. I'll figure that out later. A little over halfway through this stint now. And at least for the moment, we're going for the standard normal distance. Van Hoor will come in first. And we're starting to get pretty warm. Go conserve, go hybrid. Not a big lead here, but we do have the lead. And Van Hoor could make it up a couple more spots. I mean, even if he did that. Only driving at 4.2. One driver having a strong stint over there would be huge. I don't see it happening, though. At least not yet. Up to ninth. Yeah, they're dead even at the top. I mean, it's better than two points behind we were going into this race, for sure. But 
I would like to have a lot more breathing room than that. Slow down a bit. Go back neutral. Vantour is going to come in first, and you can see you know, the fuel is getting a little bit interesting. Oh, somebody went wide. I don't think that was anybody. No, that wasn't anybody in our division. See, ninth, and we could potentially get as high as seventh, no question. If we got as high as seventh, that would make a big difference. Up to eighth. Okay, and then that gives us a few points lead, and we're almost as good as Toyota on the day. So if we can continue to do things like that, maybe we've got something. Still, the margins just feel tight. And I could probably speed along more here, a little bit closer to the pit stop, but I really want to just be cautious and make sure I don't screw this up. Again, because wh where the margins are, I don't feel like I've got the freedom to just do it loose. Go conserve for a little bit. Maybe a lap or so. Looks like we've got a pretty solid lead up at the front. Follow with Van Vantour because he's going to come in first. And probably a good time to go back neutral with the cars. Vantour up to seventh. Might be temporary, but we'll take it. Okay, we're gonna go one more lap and it's gonna be just over. But he's got the fuel to do it. I like where we are here. I'm gonna stick with that 28 lap level. So, Kestelli, obviously the only choice. We'll go with 27.8. You switch back to Harvest. And, of course, Muller not quite ready to come out just yet. This next lap will be Goddard. Wow, at 10. Ludwig's at seven, but I feel like I've got to go back to Goddard driving that well. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm not sure I got the tires right. Let's just make sure.
There we go. 43 second pit stop. Sliding out in ninth. It's better than we've been before. So I, I do feel we're slowly moving up the field. Castelli at least driving solid at the moment. Could be worse. And here's Goddard at 9-5, they say now. Forty-three seconds. And going to come out easily in first. So it's Kazfelli and car number two that is where this game is at. And yeah, a couple on hard tires that perhaps we could catch. Perhaps. We got a seven second gap. Eight, nine, somewhere in that vicinity. And we'll switch back to conserve. Switch there. Harvest and we're off. So yeah, as it's been for a while now, well actually you're gonna have to pit. So I think our goal is six. Monhopt has crashed. It's just the one sector. Yellow. So that's unfortunate for them. It is going to benefit us. Looks like it was one of the weaker teams that had that happen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is my... I can't find my cursor. There we go. Couldn't find my mouse there for a minute. So sixth is still the goal. And only a few seconds up lead up in the front. Not sure what happened there. And we'll go neutral for a while. Looks like we're gaining a little bit, but that's far too close for comfort. And yes, because Thelye and Goddard will hit that mark soon. Goddard still driving basically perfectly, and Castelli pretty well. Appears to be making up gradual ground here. Back to hybrid. Trying to get by Poppy Orr. There's a name from the past. 
And was down to a second, now not quite as close. And or past somebody, and yeah. Lots of back and forth happening there. And we will need to go conserve for some bit more. Not much has changed in the standings. Uh, DC improving a little bit. We're even with them now. Battling for that spot and taking it for the moment. Of course, we'll need to make sure that our drivers don't go over the time. It's crucial here. And Castelli will need to go in a little bit early to make that happen, probably. Yep, I'm going to have to do that. We have made it up to sixth, at least for now. And not that far behind some other cars. Although I doubt that we make any sort of a serious move there. Okay, I think we definitely want to go neutral here. Yep, neutral and slow it down. Just over an hour to go. And it's gonna be gonna be Van Hoor next. It's just a question of when I wanna come in. I think we're gonna wait a little bit longer. And then, of course, also how much fuel. I'm only going to back off two more laps of fuel for this last set. I'm not making the same mistake I did last time. So we'll set that mark at 26. And yeah, we got to get her in. Twenty six point four. If anything, that might be a little much. It could cost us that way, etc. But it's got to be done. Goes in. Goddard. Next time, we'll take a seat. Let's see. Mueller. Yeah, Ludwig would be borderline on time. Mueller is looking better. Play it that way. So, Van Hoor, I really hope you pick up your form here. Less than 42 seconds and comes out. Goddard. Van Hoor comes out in, of the pits in six. That's very encouraging. Forty-one, forty-two seconds. Muller in first. Van Hoor, of course, the one to watch. So 
switch to conserve. Harvest. Less than an hour to go. Who still has to pit and come in? That's going to be a big question. We're done. How many of them are? I mean, this team almost certainly has to come in, and that could give us the fifth. It depends on how long it takes them. Assuming we stay where we are, race winner by a point. The other two are still super close. Forty-five minutes. Hard to see us getting up past fifth. And you just have to wonder if we hadn't had that collision, that drive-through penalty early on in the race. Have a retirement from the lower tier. Yeah, the nose is in trouble. And you have plenty of a lead for now. So go ahead and do that. Our nose is not nearly as bad. So good fortune that that's striking you. Just make sure that you finish. It's my only goal there. We're back to the, the quality lead. Yep, they did come in. They stayed about 20 seconds ahead of us. So we're going to stay pretty much where we are. We are going to be race winners, but this this is a small, modest victory. This is not a runaway victory. Which is still a victory. We could really be in it for a fight, though, overall. Yep, you've got time. Muller will hit that soon, but you both got time. I haven't seen any of the others have to repair yet. I don't think that's going to happen today. want to watch the fuel of course because we don't have to just get through the time is the other thing in the last race you have to get through the time and then wait for the leader to come around to the f and you got to finish that lap Looking to me like we're actually going to have extra fuel here, which is just fine and dandy. Van Hoor isn't close enough to be making a run at this anyway. Yeah, let's go back to conserve. Yes, we're very aware. So, hmm, that's interesting. It is not at all getting scary. We're five minutes from the end of the race.
Yeah, so this time, I, you know, if I'd gone, subtracted that full amount of fuel, I would have been fine. Weird. Just switch just because we can. First place, sixth place. Okay, so that was good enough. It wasn't good enough by a wide margin, but it was good enough. We get the win. Uh, you know, limping across the finish line. We may want to consider going all the way up to max in reliability, especially if we have, you know, the bonus time to do it. Okay, yep, and they had the pole position. So yeah, without that drive-through penalty, I think we move up a spot and look even better. Nonetheless, 1,051 kilometers. There we go, and yeah, the third driver isn't with them. Of course they're not. So, we go from a two-point deficit to a six-point lead. Toyota still very much there. In fact, I think we're almost even with us in this race. Clearly, it's a three-way fight, but it's not at all clear who's going to win it. Third of the way through the year. Yes, champagne time, but there's a lot of work left to be done. Goddard has stopped improving, but car one overall with the gain. And Van Hoor getting some gains. That's nice. Could boost up focus, but the rest is going to take a while. Yay, more money. And given where we're at on the gearbox, namely that it's going to be really difficult to get much improvement out of it. You can see our drivers, not that impressive. Uh, the car is still in fifth. I mean, it's it's going to be, it could get interesting here. Because we've got to basically rely on the nose and the spoiler, and the gearbox is going to be important for some races. We're going to have to try to overcome that in other ways. Probably switch the drivers around, as I mentioned. Maybe boost reliability more across the board. We will see. We have a very slim lead, and there is much left to be done when we are able to return to Motorsport Manager. Till then, thanks for watching, everybody. See you down the road.